um, the album. Yes. Early next year that. is what I'm being told I'm allowed to say. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it in, in effect done or are you still working on it? I got the last mix yesterday. Oh really? Okay. So I've I've been dealing with all the mixes. I wrote the whole thing by myself, there's one producer. So there's like a there's four of us that are working on it. Is it am I okay, I may be wrong, correct me now. Was it not the last album, the album before, you had a lot of writers. So the first album was predominantly me. Right. The second album was me and Claude Kelly. Yeah. And then the last album was like, I wrote some of it, but a lot of it I was given. Retrospectively, how do you, is that, you can balance how each album feels. Do you feel better writing just on your own? At oh stage? my God. Like, this was the whole journey. Like I, I lost, I lost, the clarity and the the clearness of who I was. Like, when I got signed, I got signed because I wrote my own songs and I had Big White Women, Mama Knows Best and Stand Up already. And I was already doing tours with Chris Brown and uh, Jules Holland and Cindy Lauper and Sugar Babes. I opened for Sugar Babes at a park once and they didn't turn up and it was raining. Um, that was fun. <laughs> Mud. Um, but, I can't even explain to you the difference. Like right now, like when I wasn't, when I had like, what, three, was it three years? Not off, because I put out an album three years ago, last month, right? But I toured up until last September, just before, like doing The Voice, or like I didn't stop working until last September and I started writing the album then. So I haven't had time off, but I didn't like, I have out of the public eye, as it's like, like not in the UK or in a like in a specific place, like predominantly. But I was promoting the same songs that I've been promoting for a long, long time. So I could kind of because it kind of just becomes a work pilot, and it's almost just like they just become like the the core thing, and then you know what I'm saying. So when I go on stage and I sing "Who You Are" and I sing "Nobody's Perfect" and I sing. Mama Knows Best and Big White Room and Price Tag and Domino, like, I feel them. Because I remember the day, the, the feeling, I know who it's about. I can sing them in a different way to other songs that I didn't write. And it's not that I have anything against singing other people's songs. I'm not saying that I will never not do it, I will. Um, but in this moment in right now, like, it was nothing more and nothing less than I had to write. I had to. It wasn't that I wanted to, it was that I had to. If I didn't, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing this right now. I wouldn't have been able to put my feet into someone else's shoes and walk my story. That's just not how it was gonna work. So like on the next record I know that I'll probably again co write and collaborate. But on this record I needed to just set that core feeling again on my own. And I know that no one no one else could say how I felt. I mean, is that almost like you're standing up for yourself, in a way, because it's, 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 it's all you. This is like, as you said, you're writing without telling it, people, you just... It was the challenge. It was the me going, Jay, you can write songs, get your shit together and get your head back in the game and write an album. Just be honest, go back to how it was in the beginning when you wrote Big White Room and you wrote Who's Laughing Now from experience. And I know your experience is darker, and I know it's not PC and it's not for a 13 year old, but it's your truth. And I was like, I had to, I had to live in my truth and I had to, I had to write, I had to write. I didn't even want to write a record. I just, I needed to write. And then the more I wrote, I was like, I want people to hear it. And the light started coming back and the feelings started coming back. 